As work continues on the Wheeling Suspension Bridge, hope remains strong that it may re reopen to some level on vehicular traffic. Wheeling Mayor Glenn Elliott shared his views on that possibility. DK Wright joins us live now in the 7 News studio with the rest of the story. DK. Taylor, this is hopefully good news. The work on that now is a state project. It has a price tag of $17.9 million. It involves electrical painting and some support cables. The stone piers are actually in good shape. The mayor hopes we'll see vehicles on this bridge again, not just pedestrians. But he says it will have to be done safely. Of course, if it does open, it has to be restricted. We don't want a bus getting on the bridge again like happened before. Uh, that's something I know the DOH is working on, you know, ways to limit access to the bridge. Uh, but I think it was always designed to be a bridge. It's a great way to connect, you know, downtown to Wheeling Island. Uh, you know, I'd like to see it open at least to car traffic, small cars only, no trucks, no buses, nothing like that. The suspension bridge was built in 1849. It's on the National Register of Historic Places. It was closed in 2019 after a tour bus driver, ignoring the weight limit, drove across the bridge. The damage from that incident was repaired. This is a separate project. DK Wright live in the 7 studio working for you.